Let's talk about real estate websites. Are they any good? There's thousands of real estate websites out there if you haven't realized it yet. And people oftentimes ask me, what's the best one to use? So let's talk about why there's so many and what's going on. So here's the deal. First of all, every real estate agent has a website usually provided by their company. So there you go. So like in a city the size of Memphis that has 4,000, 4,500 realtors, there's 4,000 websites right there just for the realtors in Memphis, Tennessee, for example. Plus you have all your aggregate sites or your, your portal sites out there, such as your Zillow's, your realtors, your homes.com, all those. And let's just talk about which ones might be the best, which ones work well, which ones may not. Mostly I'm going to talk about which ones work well. And this all just comes from my experience. This isn't a opinion piece on which ones that I think are great, which ones I think are good for the business, whatever the case might be. It is simply websites for you as a consumer out there that you might want to check out and use. Okay, so we know there's thousands of them out there. What are we looking for? Obviously, we're looking for a website that's user friendly. It should be something that you can easily find stuff on and get to where you want to go. And I'll tell you, a lot of these big portal companies have spent millions and millions of investor dollars to try to figure out how to make it easy for you to find what you're looking for to keep you on their site when you get there. It should be fast. What I've seen, there are some sites that when you click on a home, they take forever to load because they're trying to process so many hundreds of thousands of houses all over the country that it can get overwhelming for the site. So they really have to be set up correctly for them to load quickly and for them to work out. Of course, every site that you use has got to have an IDX feed. A lot of people may not understand what that is. Basically, that's connection to local MLS. They've got to get their information from somewhere. For instance, my website has an IDX feed, so it's pretty accurate because it's connected directly to our local MLS. Let's talk about registering a little bit. Sometimes people want to see a site, houses on a site, and a site asks them for their information. Put in your name, email, and phone number. They say, well, I didn't want to register. I just want to look at the house. These sites are spending millions and millions of dollars on development to get them there, and then millions and millions of dollars on advertising to get you to land on the website. Why would they not be able to ask for a little bit of information in order for you to use all that technology and all that information they've gathered for you? You know, don't be upset with them because they ask you to register or because they want a little bit of information. It's only fair. They're giving you huge amounts of information at your fingertips and all they ask from you is for a little bit of information. Hey, that's, that's not that bad. However, you do need to know this. When you put your information in those sites, you could have every realtor in the state calling you. Oftentimes, they are selling that information to real estate agents, which is okay because obviously they're there. They're hoping you're a serious consumer and you want help. And those realtors are there to help you out. So there's nothing wrong with that. Just be aware that if you go to five sites and you register five times and each one of them sends their information, that information to three different realtors, you may have 15 realtors give you a call. It won't really be that many because some of them will never return their phone call. But the truth is you could have several realtors calling you. So just know when you go on multiple sites and register multiple times, multiple people are probably going to reach out to you and be giving you a call. Okay. Last, know what the words on the sites mean. Meaning, what does it mean if the house is up there? Does that mean it's for sale? No, most of them are keeping historic information along with current information. Well, as most of them have inaccuracies because they're trying to keep up with so much information at one time. So if it says sold or closed or something to that effect, and it's got a date six months ago by it, that means that house sold six months ago, it most likely is not available today. If it says for sale or active, it probably is for sale. However, you got to be aware that a couple things could happen there. First of all, the websites can be inaccurate. They're known for inaccuracies, unfortunately. That's why one of the reasons why using a realtor and them sending you things from the MLS and having direct MLS access is one of your best options because that's going to be the most accurate information. Number two, it could change any minute in this market meaning you may look at it at 10 o'clock this morning, that home may be for sale, and at 10.30 they may sign a contract, 
and your agent may check on it if you contact an agent or you may check on it by contacting the listing agent at 1035 and it could be sold. So just know this market is moving very, very quickly and that makes it even more difficult for the websites and everyone else for that matter to have accurate information, okay? So be aware that not every house on there is for sale. Look for the words active or for sale. If you see pending, under contract, sold, anything like that, the chances of that home being for sale are much lower. Contingent, if you see the word contingent, means that home is probably not for sale. It's probably under contract. So let's get in. What do I think are the top three real estate websites out there and this is just based on what I see people using and where I have had success for my clients and things like that. I think number three is Zillow. Great site for the consumer regardless of what we think of it as realtors. I use Zillow. I've had good luck with Zillow and they spend a lot of money on advertising and development and trying to build out an amazing website. I think the biggest complaint on Zillow has just been accuracy. They've tried to make that better this year. It seems to have gotten a little bit better, but it seems like they're still struggling a little bit in that area. In my opinion, the next one would be Realtor.com. Number two, Realtor.com. Very similar to Zillow. Gives you a lot of information. Great site to go visit. In my opinion, they tend to be a little bit more accurate than Zillow. That's why I put them as number two above Zillow. I think they're both great sites for you as the consumer to use if you choose to use those kind of sites. Number one, by far the best option for you is to go through your realtor, use your realtor's website or what the realtor sends you from the MLS. Nothing is going to match the MLS for accuracy as what hits the market today or speed for what hits the market today or accuracy for what is still on the market. All of those websites that are not the MLS have to get their information from the MLS, process it to say, hey, this house just went on the market. Some of those can take 24 to 48 hours, whereas when we're working with you through the MLS and we find a home, we can get it to you as soon as it comes on the market and that can give you a big advantage, which is needed in today's environment and how fast homes are selling. So obviously I'm a little bit biased, but number one is your agent's website or the MLS. Our website is midsouthhomefinder.com, midsouthhomefinder.com with two H's. Feel free to look us up. It does have an IDX feed. It is directly tied to the MLS, so it's got some pretty doggone good accuracy and it's, it's a pretty reliable site. It's a great site to use. And then, of course, next is get with your agent and get MLS set up in the MLS so that you can get houses as soon as they go on the market. And that's going to be your best option in this market to being able to see the houses right away, being able to see price reductions right away and getting the most accurate information. So that should help you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out 901-409-5168.